Okay, today on Grabeel Forge and Fab, we're going to be taking this old window that's been sitting up against my house for about nine years. All of the glazing's falling out. In fact, there's very little glazing left in it. I'm going to be removing that, sanding it down, priming it, re-glazing it. And then I'm going to be taking it, and I'm going to be installing it up above that door. I'm going to finish the framing, which is non-structural. It's pretty much just to hold insulation and some plywood on this side. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, this has a little bit of hardware. It looked like it used to be hinged. So I'm going to remove the hardware first, then I'm going to start sanding. It's important to note that I'm not trying to take all of the stain or all of the paint off. I'm just trying to rough up the surface enough that the new paint will adhere completely. I'm going to be using this old rusty chisel that I keep just for jobs like this to get rid of any of the glazing that's left. Most of it actually fell out during sanding. So it shouldn't take too long. Now using liberal amounts of Windex to uh, clean up the window first. Before I prime it. Now to add the primer. Eventually you are going to miss and get a little bit on the window. It's not a big deal. You wipe it off right away or you can let it dry and you can get it with a razor blade later. This has been sitting up there for probably about eight years, and it uh, has a little bit of warp to it. But that's okay. The framing I'm going to add to it's going to straighten it out. Like I said, it's non-structural anyway. It's just going to be holding some insulation and some plywood on the inside.
Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my glaze and there's a slight gap between the wood and the glass. Okay, so what I'm first doing, I'm forcing it into that gap. Just taking a lot of material, forcing it in there. That way it seals between the gap as well as up against the wood and the glass. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm taking my blade at an angle and I'm using that to continue forcing down into the joint but it's also forcing any excess out to the outer edges. And I do it really wide to start with. I'm just forcing it in there. There's going to be a lot of extra. It's not going to look real perfect yet. And then I go ahead and do it again at a slightly steeper angle. There's a reveal on the inside of the window where the wood overlaps the glass. You want to try to match your angle to that. Okay, now I'm making the frame for the window. I'll make the frame, I'll mock it up on the wall, I can mark everything and then cut everything right out of the wall so that I can place the window and the frame right in. Alright, that's it for this episode of Gravio Forge and Fab. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. It boosts my channel and helps me produce more content. If you'd like to get updated on that content, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks again.